<laughs> well, there's certainly been a, a bipartisanship on this issue in the latter part of the, the saga uh, with representations made to Congress, uh, but also from the, the Prime Minister down, essentially, at the, the highest levels, with President Biden too, repeated representations made across the US system. And that diplomacy has worked, Greg. Oh, absolutely. So this is a, a, you know, a good day for the Albanese government. I think, you know, the Albanese government has done some pretty good things in the last week or two. It's um, you know, reappointed Mike Burgess as ASIO Director General after all that insane criticism of him by Paul Keating. So that's that's a pretty good uh, action in the intelligence space. And it's lobbied quite sensibly, but with very restricted language and so on. Uh, and the United States is not conceding here that it has done anything wrong. It, and indeed, all it has done is apply for the extradition of Julian Assange. You see, one of your Vox Pop folks in Melbourne said, why didn't they charge him properly instead of just throwing him into jail? Well, they were trying to charge him properly and he wouldn't answer the charges. Well, that's, that's fair enough. He's, he's perfectly entitled to, you know, pursue his legal rights to fight extradition. But I think the Albanese government has got the tone on this pretty right. It's just said that the thing has gone on too long and it hasn't um, engaged in any sort of anti-American rhetoric and it hasn't valorised Julian Assange. So I'm very glad that he's mm. free and, I, you know, that's a wonderful thing and all the rest of it. But let's not make this into an Australian sainthood because there's just no evidence that, um, you know, those people in Afghanistan who risked their lives to cooperate with the Americans and were exposed in WikiLeaks uh, publications, they didn't feel too great about it. And um, so I think this is a sober, sensible result. Well done, the Albanese government. And, mm. you know, all of those politicians, uh, they also spoke very sensibly and moderately. So that, that's a good thing, I think. I only got a minute left, but yeah, you're warning against the beatification of, of this person, but that you would know as someone who's uh, reported on, on these matters for a long time and, and Australian media generally, there, there will be a fair bit of fanfare upon the return finally of Assange to Australian, to Australian shores. Absolutely. So I think our political leaders have got the tone pretty right. I thought Barnaby Joyce was at his most statesmanlike on Sky earlier. Simon Birmingham has issued a very good statement saying that uh, it was very important that the legal processes of the United States and the United Kingdom be respected. But the case had just gone on too long. Uh, it, it had just gone on for too many years. And um, so, uh, you know, there will be tremendous hoopla and all the rest of it. But it's very important that our political leadership don't transform this into making what Julian Assange did into heroic action or mm. into making the United States villains for trying to protect the life and, you know, human uh, existence of the people who cooperate with it in the most difficult circumstances all around the world.